Welcome, fellow Stardust. Are you ready for a scare? I see you've come back for more. If you're new here, buckle up. And thank you all for joining me today. My name is DeRay, lover of all things dark, creepy, and weird. Today's film review will be on horror romance, Spring. This film is about a guy who loses his mother and travels to Italy to reset. There he meets a young woman and falls in love with her, but she is hiding a primordial secret. So this is going to be my first spoiler-free review. I'm going to do my best to explain to you what my experience was like. That way you can decide if it's something for you without it having being spoiled. Directed by Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead, it stars Lou Taylor Pucci as Evan, who is so good in You're the Worst and in the series You. He was also in the soft reboot of Evil Dead. His co-star Nadia Hilker is in The Walking Dead, which I stopped watching a few years ago, but I need to hop back on that train. While this is labeled as a horror film, you can also call this a sci-fi thriller. If you're not really too into scary films or gory things, this might be a good film for you to dip your toe in to see if you might want to go in that direction. But if you do love gory and scary stuff, this is a good change of pace and something new to appreciate. There aren't really films like this one. It's a bit unique. This isn't the type of film that we're used to seeing. A love story isn't usually at the forefront of the story in a horror film. The scary stuff in this film is sort of sprinkled out little by little, starting at about the halfway point. And sometimes it's easy to miss some of the things that they show you, so if you're not paying attention, you could miss it. You can tell the theme of this is clearly rebirth. This starts when Evan leaves the US to go to Italy to sort of have a rebirth. He's going through a lot in his life at home, and so he's fleeing to kind of get a fresh start on things. And this theme of rebirth comes up again when we meet the old farmer and when it's revealed what Luis is hiding. For the first part of the film, we get the opportunity to enjoy the buildup with all the visuals, the music, and tone. Before Evan gets to Italy, we're in scenes where it's dark and tight and the lighting is moody. When he gets to Italy, things open up and they brighten up and we see beautiful shots and nice scenery when everything is really soft and light not the kind of aesthetic you would normally see for a horror or thriller film there's one shot in particular that lasts four minutes and it's done so well we get to see them banter and we get to see the setting that surrounds them and it's just beautiful. It's the perfect setting for a love story between two people who have undeniable chemistry. I definitely believed in their love and got excited when I saw the pops of horror and sci-fi while watching their love grow. I wouldn't call this one of my all-time favorite films, but I am definitely glad that I found it. A lot of people would compare the romance aspect of this film to Before Sunrise, which I can agree with. Spring is Justin and Aaron's second feature film. It premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival in 2014, and then in 2015, Draft House Films did a limited theatrical release. The directors worked on a film together called Resolution, and after 15 seconds of watching the trailer of that film, I immediately put it on my Amazon watch list. I absolutely hate watching trailers. They always give away the best parts. They also worked on a segment for VHS Viral, a franchise that I'm also very much in love with. The budget for Spring was super tight, but they were luckily able to get a little help from the Apula Film Commission in Apula, Italy. Well, there you have it, my spoiler-free review of a spring. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share and hit the like button. I hope I see you tomorrow when I talk about Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker, and I'll show you how I did these nails. I'll also be back next week with another film review and spooky story narration. And if you want to join the Rainbow Fright Freight Train, 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. That way you'll get notified every Thursday and Friday when I post more videos like this. All right, y'all. Peace.